Yo, welcome back everybody to another Daikon Dissectional production hosted by Deathstroke9. Today, we're going to be reacting to a song by the Pixies called Where Is My Mind? Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I don't really know much about this group, but I do know that um, I think Kurt Cobain and Nirvana has said that he was greatly inspired by them before. And I did, I've, I've done a lot of research on the band Nirvana before. Um, and they were one of the first bands to like, not one of the first bands, but they, they were a band to like popularize this, this thing that they did with dynamics, which Nirvana does in a lot of their songs where they go from being really quiet and then to being really, really loud. <laughs> it's a thing that a lot of, a lot of grunge songs at the time did. And, uh, the Pixies were doing that beforehand as if I understand correctly, they kind of, um were one of the first people to actually start doing it in this way in the way that it sounded like that i'm not certain if that's correct that's just what i read you, can, you know i can't believe everything you read on the internet but um yeah i'm excited to check this out thank you to the people who requested it let me know if there's any other songs by the pixies you'd like me to hear because um normally when it comes to bands there will be requests for multiple songs with this band this is the only song that anyone has ever requested so Maybe if I react to one song, some of some fans of the band will let me know what other uh, tracks are good to react to or albums or whatever. So, yeah, thank you all very much for joining me. Let's get into it. The Pixies, Where Is My Mind? video it looks like this guy's probably uh tripping and um the lyrics are very interesting they're they're definitely kind of painting a picture but the music and the the like harmonies in the background the i can't even do it the, that thing that's that's making the song take on an almost it's almost scary it's weird it's strange i like it let's keep going sorry let's keep going Animals Interesting. Turn it up, let's go.
is so interesting. that ending why did you do it again ah, oh my god all right um wow the top comment is to me it's insane that this is actually an 80s song that is absolutely incredible this sounds like a late 90s song wow songs depressing nostalgic and up and slightly upbeat all at once yep the way the guitar screams, it's like you can feel the depression and the melody for someone there who feels like a misfit or who is passing through some changes. Just keep on going. One of the most powerful intros to a song of all time. I discovered this band at a very strange moment in my life. Goosebumps everywhere when I hear this masterpiece. The song came to me at a very strange time in my life. Just realized the Pixies is the biggest influencer for Nirvana and Radiohead in their era. That's actually interesting. I thought of Radiohead while listening to that. Huh. Huh. -huh. Um. Fun fact, the lead guitarist was messing around in the studio when he made the main riff, and he kept it because he didn't want to overthink it and stress over it. You know, which is interesting because the main riff, which I'm assuming is looped, right, is like... It, it feels like it has like one little tiny like i wouldn't call it a, a mistake but it, it feels it sounds like that's what happened and um it it adds to the song everything about it ad just keeps adding to the song it's very interesting i like it this movie is heartbreaking about a heroin addict's life helped me realize a lot of things i used to have addiction problems now i'm clean and up on my feet again that's what i was thinking while watching it is that it was um you know it seemed to be about addiction um but i'm not so sure that's what i think the song is about maybe it is though i mean it, it probably is i don't know all right so at the beginning oh stop with your feet on in the air and your head on the ground try this trick and spin it yeah your head will collapse and there's nothing in it and you'll ask yourself where is my mind where is my mind where is my mind way out in the water see it swimming all right so a song written one second let me read this black francis says where is my mind was written during the time he was attending the university of massachusetts and was inspired by the experience of having a small fish chase him when he was snorkeling in the caribbean <laughs> i had so many thoughts you know and felt like so many different things were when I, I would hear any given phrase he was saying and think, oh, I relate to this so hard. Oh, my God, this is so powerful. <laughs> he wrote it about the snorkeling. Oh, man, that's great. That's awesome. Holy cow. All right. Um, they used this at the end of Fight Club, which I still have not seen, actually. My mom told me I need to watch it as soon as possible, actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> song written about snorkeling he's probably describing his literal body position it's common to have your feet above your head while diving it also adds to the sense of spatial ambiguity relating back to how he can't seem to find his mind that's what it felt like it felt like i was disassociating while listening to this song <laughs> uh however the verse may also have a further metaphoric alternative meaning this is contradictory to the saying head in the clouds feet on the ground this goes to show how lost the mind is he is in his own mind. He's lost in his own mind. Way out, way out in the water, see it swimming. Reflection. Pixie's Black Francis knows what brought him to losing his mind, and he remembers his old self, but he's become so disconnected from his old self that he can only look at it from a distance. It is drifting far away from who he is now. I was swimming in the Caribbean. Animals were hiding behind the rocks, except the little fish bumped into me. I swear he was trying to talk to me. Ko koi, koi. <laughs> I did not, like, catch much of this. I heard, like, animals were hiding in the rocks, but... Huh. Okay. Frank Black... Like, I... <laughs> because of the way the, um... 
the part sounded it made me think when he said it i swear he was trying to talk to me i thought he was like communicating with a ghost or something <laughs> frank black explained to select magazine that the song derived from a trip to puerto rico that came from me snorkeling all right i already already read that we've got the chorus again frank black justified the song's popularity in IG, in an ign stating i just think the song is likable even though kim barely sings on it there's something about her singing that little haunting two-note riff yes yes with your feet on the air and your head in the ground try this trick and spin it your head will collapse there's nothing in it and you'll ask yourself where is my mind way out in the water see it swimming that's it that's the whole song wow let me know if there's any other songs by the pixies i should check out that's very i i, I liked it it was very evocative um yeah music like this is very interesting to me the fact that this came out in the 80s in the 80s wow all right uh thank you for joining me if you are one of the people who requested this song thank you let me know if there's any other songs i should check out by this group or any other songs like this or just weird songs i like weird songs strange strange songs are i love those um yeah thank you so much for joining if you're new to the channel um my name is Daniel, and we react to music, and I try to figure out what the lyrics and the music mean to me personally. If you think that's interesting, consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it, um, but only, you know, only if you like this sort of thing. And um, I'll see you all soon. Deathstroke 9, out. Stay tuned for more videos. See you soon.